We were young professionals who fell on hard times, just like many others across the country. Jobs cutting hours, less salaries. I mean, it was getting to the point where we couldn't even pay rent for our own home anymore. With no home and not enough work, Alicia and Raymond McAteer turned to this place for help. It's Life Net for Families. How's the food today? Good? All right. It's about getting families back on their feet. So we take individuals, families, we do hot meals every day, we do showers, we do boxes of food for people that need that little extra at the end of the month. We have food stamp programs, crisis management. Finding a charity whose mission is your passion, that's the first step in finding the right charity for you. It's not the only step. Here's some other things you need to know. First, do some research. Find the most efficient charity at accomplishing your goal using services like Charity Navigator, BBB, GuideStar, or Charity Watch. Can't find financial info? Just ask. 90% of every dollar raised goes back into the program, so there's not much overhead and, and overhead expenses. Next, avoid middlemen. Always give directly to the charity if you can, not to some telephone solicitor. They're taking a huge cut. And finally, if it's possible, get involved yourself. Donate your time in addition to your money. You gotta give to get back. Bottom line, when it comes to charities, don't even think of writing checks until you've done some checks. And get yourself involved. You're gonna feel a lot better about what you're doing. What you need now is a few more tips to make sure you got the right charity, and I've got them waiting for you. They're right here at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for charities. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson. Want to save more and spend less? Get the free Money Talks newsletter. It only takes seven seconds to sign up, and it's full of deals and news you'll really use. Do it now at MoneyTalksNews.com.